Hey everybody, Jim here with your daily dose of Japanese gaming goodness. It is the import game of the day, and today's game is Dragon Ball Z Hyper Dimension for the Super Famicom. This is a 1996 release that was developed and published by Bandai, and it actually did get an international release in 1997, but only in Spain and France, and it was the last 16-bit game based on DBZ to be released. It features a modest roster of 10 playable characters and a story mode that starts with the battle against Frieza on Namek and ends with Goku's defeat of Majin Buu, and you are treated to dialogue boxes before each fight to move the plot along, but unfortunately, no actual cutscenes are included, which I think would have been great because I love the art style in this game. It features darker shading and more exaggerated expressions from the characters than you typically saw in DBZ games at the time. The gameplay is where the game truly shines, though, and as much as I do like the second and third Super Butoden games, this one undoubtedly plays much better. It's a more traditional 2D fighter that has more in common with Street Fighter 2, while still featuring distinct DBZ elements like signature attacks and the ability to battle on land or in the air. A unique aspect to Hyper Dimension is the life bars, which are represented by a number that goes from 1 to 999, and the number can be raised by powering up and obviously goes down when taking damage, but also goes down a bit when launching energy attacks, so you have to use them wisely. Also, when your number drops below 80, you can launch a desperation attack, which deals massive damage. All in all, this is a really fun game that plays well, features some outstanding graphics and sound, and is a nice change of pace from the typical 16-bit DBZ game. It's Hyper Dimension, and it is the best DBZ game of the entire 16-bit generation. Check it out.